Julie wakes me up and she's like, hey, we don't have any water. After I got off of work and after I got back from the gym, I ended up coming home. I was gonna start doing some work and the internet went out. Sunday, didn't really track my food like I should have and it bumped me up back to 180.5. So is that a good thing? No, it kind of sucks. What is going on you guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy Roll back. Um, all right, so week one is done. I completed my first week of summer shredding and it was absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a quick recap as to what ended up happening. I ended up going all the way down to like 179. I think I ended um, Saturday at 179.2. And then Sunday didn't really track my food like I should have and it bumped me up back to 180.5. So is that a good thing? No, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, once I get back on track in terms of like tracking my, my calories and getting back on cardio and working out and everything, I'm gonna be okay. Okay, so that ended up being my fault. I should have actually started tracking my food. I should have been consistent with it. And I ended up getting carried away with doing all these other things. And then stress levels were a little bit high. <laughs> Last week was crappy in a lot of aspects. So what ended up happening the entire, like, I think it was, started Thursday. Or no, Wednesday actually. Wednesday morning, Julie wakes me up and she's like, hey, we don't have any water. Turns out that pretty much half of the city didn't have water. There was like a main pipe that ended up busting or leaking or something like that. And so half of the city didn't have water. So Wednesday sucked, which I should have vlogged that because I could have been something different on the channel, but Wednesday sucked. And then um, Thursday afternoon, after I got off of work and after I got back from the gym, I ended up coming home. I was gonna start doing some work and the internet went out. So. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday was just absolutely terrible. It sucked. I <laughs> I couldn't get really any work done until Saturday afternoon. Fortunately, the water ended up fixing. I think maybe they, they were saying that everything was good to go by Friday. So really Wednesday and Thursday, water, we didn't really have it. Um, I ended up having to go to the gym just to take a shower and everything. So that was really unfortunate. And then um, again, internet went out like Thursday afternoon. So yeah. These past, like this past week was actually terrible. And so stress levels were high because I was trying to get work for clients and it just, it was ridiculous. So, and then Sunday, in reality, I just wasn't really tracking my food. I had a little bit of variation. So my weight went back up a little bit, but again, not really worried because I've been eating everything I'm supposed to start and stay. I've been drinking my water. I'm gonna go to the gym after Julie gets off and we have lunch together. I'm gonna go to the gym. And since I'm out of my deload week, I can actually push myself even more and that's gonna be a great time. But right now, I'm gonna get some lunch ready. Um, you guys know it's gonna be chicken alfredo because that's what we normally do. But sit back, relax, and enjoy this vlog. All right guys, so I kind of mentioned uh, last episode that I was still kind of pretty much eating the same thing, but I haven't really given you guys an update in terms of like what my calories, my macros are. And I obviously ended kind of the previous series and the lean bulk. So before I started this cut, I was at like 2,300 calories. I don't really remember off the top of my head what I'm, what I'm supposed to be eating. Um, I just kind of track as I go. Let me grab my phone here real quick. All right, so let's see. So prior to, to the cut, I was at like 2,300 calories. Yeah, I think I was like eating 2,300 calories or something like that. But right now, so my current macros or calories are 2,155. My current carbs are 225, protein is 190, and fats are 55. So that's what I'm working with. That's what's gonna try and help me lean out just a little bit, gonna get me through the summer shredding. I don't like the fact that my calories are already starting off really low. 2,155 is not many calories to work with. So what I'm really trying to focus on is having a lot of volume in my foods. Um, the pasta that I'm eating, the rice, I'm trying to put lettuce. I usually have spinach with my, with my breakfast. Um, so I'm trying to have a lot of volume, which is something that I would recommend if you are dieting down. Make sure that you have a lot of volume. So you know, trying to have your veggies. Um, fruits, vegetables to really kind of help you feel fuller a little bit longer um, during each meal. Make sure that you get plenty of protein. Whenever you are starting to cut down, your protein intake is gonna start gradually increasing as your carbs are decreasing. And then fat intake tends to go up as well. 
So, and then the last thing I would recommend is having plenty of water. I was drinking about a gallon prior to my cut, and as soon as I started it, I had bumped up my water intake up to a, a gallon and a half, and some days trying to go for two. So that's what's gonna kind of help me feel full for a little bit longer, and that's what I would recommend for you guys to do as well. Okay, guys, ended up going to the gym, got my chest and arm workout in, and then came home and I started doing a lot of work for my for my business and then for my clients. About to actually hop on a group call with my clients soon. Um, but that's pretty much gonna be it for right now. Tomorrow I'm doing my shoulders and back workout. That, that's what I'm gonna include on this video since the last video I included my my chest and, and arms. So I'm really, really looking forward to, to showing all of this to you guys because it's this split is actually kind of fun. Last week, I, like I said, I, I did a deload and I didn't really get to enjoy it as much, but once I got back into it today and I was actually like pushing myself, it felt, felt really good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. So it is the next day and I got off of work. I was gonna record this morning, but it's kind of hard while I'm at at the credit union still it's hard for me to record whenever i'm waking up because it's it is really early and in reality the only thing that i do is eat breakfast say hi he is really like wanting me to to give him pets and stuff oh god this guy's shadow um but i wake up and i get ready julie and i end up eating breakfast and then after that I end up going to work. So I don't really have much time in the mornings to really vlog. So that's why I haven't haven't done that. But I do want to give you guys a little bit of a physique update. So I'll probably do that whenever I'm at the gym. Today I'm I'm gonna be doing a um, shoulders and back, dude. Um, shoulders and back workout. And I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. It's a really it's a really fun one. Let me know if you guys want to see the entire like the rep ranges and the sets and even the rest periods, let me know that way so I can start including them in the videos. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Like I said, I'm waiting for Julie to get off. Ow, that kind of hurt. Um, but um, I'm waiting for Julie to get off. That way we can have lunch and then I'm gonna start working on some stuff and I should have this video up tomorrow or um, Thursday. So it just kind of depends. I actually ended up hiring a video editor. So she's gonna be taking care of all of the videos for me. And depending if I can get all of these files over to her tonight, then I'll have this video up tomorrow. Potentially, just depends on how long it takes for the editing. If not, it'll be on Thursday. But the next video after that will be actually on Sunday. So we'll see you guys in a bit. We just got back from the gym and right now we are about to eat dinner. I don't know why it's, I think it was just cause it's so dark, um, but we're about to eat dinner. And right now I think what we've been eating is ground turkey, lean ground turkey. Um, I think it's been 113, 113 grams of lean ground turkey doing 90 grams of white rice. We still put like a third of a cup of cheese or something like that and then some lettuce on there. That way it's a little bit more filling. I forgot earlier that I was supposed to eat a banana. We didn't have any, so I was gonna substitute it for a Rice crispy, and I didn't eat that either right before going to the gym. So now I get to have my banana with my meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys for all the support. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And then again, if you guys want to see something in particular, please let me know in the comment section below. See you guys on the next one. Peace.